This is Will with uh, Cigar Coop and Stogie Geeks. I am here at the Southern Cigar Festival at the Verizon Amphitheater in Alpharetta, Georgia. I am here with the one and only Scott Weeks of Recluse Cigar Company. Scott, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, and thank, good, thank God it's the one and only because I don't think the world can handle two of them. What you, <laughs> so what do you think of this venue here? This is amazing. In, in 20 years of being in the industry, this is the finest venue I've ever seen a cigar festival be held at. I mean, it is great. We are actually sitting in the amphitheater. We're under a cover. You can see the stage behind us. So, Scott, what has been happening uh, with Recluse lately? Well, a lot of, lots of exciting things. Uh, we've built a new factory, so, which is not a new factory per se. It's an additional factory because of the growth in sales and the market receptance of what we're doing. Uh, we've been able to break ground on an entire new facility to expand production on Recluse. And that, so you've broken ground on that already? Oh, it's it's almost finished. Yeah, when do you think it'll be open by? Uh, probably about six months. Awesome, awesome. About six months, it'll be finished. That will be great. That would be great. Looking forward We're very to that. excited about it. Excellent. Very excited. Excellent. What else has been happening? Uh, well, besides making more babies, which has kept me pretty busy outside of the uh, cigar business, uh, we've uh, come up with a... Um, with a new product that we're going to release this year at IPCPR 2015 in, in New Orleans. We're really excited about, and I'm going to let Will introduce that because this is a Cigar Coop exclusive. That is. So um, I am looking at the next iteration here of the Recluse Amadeus. So this is a cigar um, that Scott is smoking right now. I've had the privilege of smoking one of these. I didn't know what it was, but it was fantastic. Yeah, we got uh, quite a, uh, some very, um, lots of exceptional feedback about this cigar. We really did, and we've had a few people tell us that, you know, they, they like all of our blends, but they said this is one of the finest blends that we've done to date. And we haven't talked about it. People have asked us. We haven't given out any information on it. Uh, you know, but we love Cigar Coop, and so we're going to make this a Cigar Coop exclusive release on this. This is called the Recluse Amadeus Habano Reserva that will be released at the IPCPR show. Now, I know you're probably gonna, I know you probably have a lot of good information on that, but what can you tell us right now about this cigar? This cigar is like, how would I, it, it's got, there's so many different flavors. As, as, if anybody who smoked a recluse cigar will know that our flavors, our flavor compositions are very complex. They're very smooth. The draws are effortless on our cigars because we only roll 100% into bio, which is a Cuban method of, of rolling each filler instead of folding it. It cuts down on production, but it makes exceptional cigars on the draw. Our blends, everything in our cigars is fermented, are fermented for two years. Nobody else in the world does that. This cigar basically takes everything that we've done with our previous blends and then once again raises the bar to an almost unobtainable level. I don't know anybody that I've seen in my experience in this business that could put a cigar together like this and get these types of flavor compositions out of it. It's just amazing. Everybody needs to try one of these cigars when you can get your hands on it. I know we got a lot of fans on the Recluse Amadeus Connecticut, the, uh, the Recluse Draconian and the Recluse OTG. Treat yourself to a, to a, a, a Recluse Amadeus Habano Reserva. Believe me, you won't look back. It's amazing. Amazing cigar. Yeah, and once again, it's uh, you're going with your box press, which is kind of part of the uh, recluse philosophy, so to speak. Yeah, could I break that down real quick? Is you that sure, okay? absolutely. Uh, the reason why we box press is that, um, you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again, is that you need three things for combustion. You need fuel, air, and heat. And box pressing compresses the airspace in the cigar, so it forces the cigar to burn slower and burn cooler. Now, if you do that in conjunction with a regular bunch filler, which is folded, which most factories do. The draw is still good, but it never lives up to its full potential. But when you do it in conjunction with that authentic, true Cuban into bio roll, you get a cigar that has the best of both worlds. You get a cigar that burns slower, burns cooler, and has an effortless draw. So that's why our dynamic is with the box press. That's why just about everything we do that's box pressed in some type of square fashion, there actually is only one cigar that we make out of 28 facings that's round. And that's the Recluse OTG in the 60 ring gauge. For some reason, that blend works better in the Parejo format than it does in the box press format. So we kept that in the Parejo. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. That's excellent. That's yeah. excellent. Now, can we expect any of the innovative sizes of this uh, Habano? 
Uh, we're going to do the three sizes of sidewinders. It's amazing. Uh, we, we, the canoes that we do are extremely difficult to roll true into bow with that canoe shape, which is a, like a box press perfecto. Uh, so we're ki kind of keeping that to the OTG line for now. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do make it in the other blends in a special set called the Elf Pack, which is nine cigars. But on the Sidewinder, it's a cigar that we can train other pairs of rollers to roll. It's got the popping cap on the top, so you don't have to cut it. When you right. smoke it, you just squeeze the sides and the cap pops open. So and the, the Sidewinders have been amazing. People see that popping cap on the Sidewinders and that they don't have to cut it. And they, they just love that cigar. We got a cult following for that. So we decided to bring the Sidewinders because they're a little bit easier to roll than the canoes, and we can put more on the market for the end consumer because we don't like to make cigars that people can't buy. So we make the canoes in the OTG, we'll make all of them you can buy in the Sidewinders, we can make a lot more. So we put that in the Havano Reserva as well. And Scott, I mean, you made a good point. You know, this year it just seems like the limited market is really saturated. And you, have, you and Recluse have stuck to that philosophy of making cigars that everyone can get. And I, yes. I think that's a great thing. Thank you. Because uh, there's a couple of things, uh, you know, you, you folks out there, um, you know, thank you for your support, first of all. But, you know, you go out and you see a limited cigar, and some of them are really great, but then you smoke them, and then you can't get them anymore. You know, it's, it's disheartening. And we don't want to do that to you. And we don't want to do that to our customers. Uh, we don't want to make cigars that you can't buy. We want to make cigars that are special, that you can buy every single day, and you can get them every single time that you go to your local retail tobacconist that carries them and buy them. You know? Absolutely. Uh, we don't also, you know, I don't understand a lot of, um, which is great. I mean, a lot of people, they make limited edition stuff, and that's great for them. And if that's part of their marketing thing, that's great. But, you know, I want to put my creative energy into something that's going to stay on the market that people are going to be able to enjoy 30, 40, 50 years from now. And I don't want to do it on a one and done cigar and then have a bunch of aggravated in consumers because, you know, how come you're not making that, you know, uh, ball buster cigar or whatever anymore? Well, because it was limited, you know. So we want to make cigars that you can buy every day. Yeah, and I tell you, you're now three years into the company. You launched 2012. And I'm seeing, you know, continued growth by you. And I'm seeing that these cigars are not sitting on the shelves. People are going back to them. And you have now already OTGs out three years. The Draconians out two years. Amadeus one year. And I mean, and it's just people going back to them. It's 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 really encouraging to see the reception of all the hard work, the two years of fermentation, the intubal, uh, 20 years of industry experience. J.R. Dominguez, uh, who's the man at the factory, he's the maestro. Uh, he's he's manufacturing these amazing cigars. He and I are working together and, and really putting out a great product. And it's good to see my reps are sending me pictures. I get pictures every day, every other day of empty boxes on the shelf. Them sending me saying, hey, these sold out, man. When are they going to get their shipment? You know, because we're shipping them out. I mean, we're not back ordered. So people are selling them out before they, we, they can get their reorders in. And it's really encouraging to see. That's excellent. That's yeah. excellent. So a lot to look forward to with Recluse, um, a new factory, a brand new cigar, the uh, Habano in Amadeus Reserva. Hi, uh, rec Recluse? Recluse. Okay, go ahead. We're going to have a pop quiz I'm, later. I'm, 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 Amadeus Habano Reserva. Yeah, that I was good. Right. That's okay. good. He did it. He did it. <laughs> Recluse right. Amadeus Habano Reserva. Remember it. Go to your retailer and demand it. Put diapers on my kids, man. Yep, and you will see that at the IPCVR officially once. Absolutely. Scott. Yep, that. You got a cigar coupe exclusive right here. Scott, always a pleasure. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, good luck and enjoy the festival today. Thank you, brother. Should be a blast. Appreciate it.